So this video is going to um, concentrate on the vascular system and in this case we have a big neurovascular bundle here. This is a nerve. We're not going to talk about that today. And then we have two veins, one here and one here and an artery here. And the first and most apparent thing about them is the wall thickness. So the lumen is in the centre. The artery has a much thicker wall than the vein. This wall is quite thin. Also, the artery has a, a smaller lumen that's more regularly shaped. The vein lumen is large and is less regularly shaped. But we'll have a look at the structure of the wall of each now. So let's have a little look at the artery first of all. The stain that's been used here has elastin in it, which stains black, and that's going to help show us the amount of elastin fibres that there are in this particular artery. So the blood vessels are all lined with endothelial cells and endothelial cells are simple squamous cells. They're the ones that look like a fried egg. They have a, the yolk being the nucleus and the white of the egg being the cytoplasm. They're very flat and thin and they line the vessel and provide a, a number of functions. They've got quite an extensive range of functions. Uh, one is to permit laminar flow through the vessel. Uh, it's to uh, provide a good interface between the blood and the tissue so that we don't have clotting happening within the vessel. And they have a number of other functions which will appear on the screen now. All vessels are lined with endothelial cells, including veins and capillaries, arterioles and venules. A capillary is simply just a layer of endothelial cells plus its basement membrane. It's difficult to see the detail of an endothelial cell because they're so small. But you can see the flat nucleus just there and there and there. So it's very, very thin lining indeed. And the basement membrane sits immediately underneath there. Under that, there's a very small area of connective tissue, a lamina propria. We've mentioned lamina propria in other videos, but it's a, a small piece of connective tissue that architecturally supports the epithelium, which is in this case called endothelium. And it also provides uh, nutrition in the form of blood vessels and uh, lymph, etc., um, for the overlying endothelium. The reason that this space is important in arteries is because this is where atheroma begins. Atheroma begins in this part of connective tissue here. Okay. Within here, we've got cells which are uh, like fibroblasts uh, called myointimal cells, uh, and we've also got tissue macrophages, etc., and it's these myointimal cells that reproduce and lay down collagen and the macrophages that respond to the deposition of LDL within the intima that cause the reaction that develops the atheromatous plaque that then becomes hardened. So this is where atheroma begins. Uh, deep to that we have this black line which is elastin because this is an elastin stain and this elastin uh, is called the internal elastic lamina and is present in arteries uh, and also in veins, but is only really prominent in arteries. All of these together, the endothelial cell, the lamina propria, and the internal elastic lamina are called a tunic intima of the blood vessel. Deep to that, here seen in sort of pink and green with strands of black representing elastin, from here all the way out to here is the tunica media, that's the middle layer. The tunica media is made mostly of smooth muscle um, and in the case of this particular artery there are plenty of elastin fibres staining black in here as well. Elastin fibres are prominent in vessels in arteries that are near to the heart, so the aorta um, and some of the bigger branches of the aorta and that's to help uh, in countering the force of the blood coming from the heart so that the artery doesn't balloon out but the force of the blood coming from the heart is directed down the tubes rather than causing a bulge in the artery wall. And outside of this is called the tunica externa or tunica adventitia and this is a connective tissue wrapping for the blood vessel. There is an, ex an external elastic lamina in uh, arteries as well, and it's, it's much less obvious, but you can see elastin fibres here, and this would, this would be the external elastic lamina. So that's the structure of an artery. The structure of a vein is exactly the same. 
Um, most of the difference in thickness between the vein uh, wall and the arterial wall is in the tunica media. So veins are not carrying blood that's under high pressure and therefore the, they don't need as thick uh, a tunica media as arteries do. So in this case you can see again endothelial cells lining the vessel, a tunica media and an adventitia. Veins therefore don't have the amount of muscle that arteries have. So in order to return venous blood from the extremities, for example, the, the lower limbs, against gravity and not under pressure, veins need valves. Valves are simply extensions of the tunica intima that uh, prevent backflow of blood. In addition to the, vein, the valves in the veins preventing backflow of blood, there is also um, external help to return blood to the heart from uh, veins down in the lower part of the body. Um, and they have, uh, in, in the form of um, skeletal muscle contraction, so there's um, a, a muscle pump really that as the muscles contract, the blood is forced upward. It can't flow back through the veins and therefore it gets returned to the heart. Um, and that's why we should keep moving when we're on long haul flights, for example, uh, or after surgery to prevent um, clotting from happening um, in, in the vessels, in the veins. So that's really um, a summary of the, the artery and vein structure. All of the smaller vessels are similar and I just want to just draw your attention to some arterioles that we can find in this neurovascular bundle here. This is a really nice small artery or arteriole. Uh, this is a nice small artery uh, so you can again see the endothelium, internal elastic lamina, media and adventitia. But just over here we can see a pair this is an arteriole and a venule. Again, we've got the flattened nuclei of the endothelial cells and a tunica media and an externa here. You can tell that this is the venule and this is the arteriole because of the size of the wall. So when you see them in pairs, it's quite easy to distinguish one from the other. So a capillary is simply a layer of endothelial cells with a basement membrane. Um, and they're much smaller. And you can just see one here, in fact, two here. So this is a, a capillary here and here. And in cross section, you can quite nicely see the endothelial cell nucleus of both of those. So in summary, we have looked at an artery, we have looked at a vein, we have looked at a smaller mm -hmm. artery, and we've looked at an arterial and venule and then we've also looked at the structure of capillaries.